mass local numerical analysis numerical solution of ODE alerts method YouTube channel mass local provide you easy mathematics techniques whatsapp number email address my name is Saeed Ahmad Shah I am professor in Quist Nawab Shah Bismillah Rahman Rahim alerts method dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y comma y of x naught is equal to y naught differential equation with initial condition this is called the initial value problem comma x between a and b which is a small length of interval solution by Euler's method y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus h f of x n comma y n semicolon x n plus 1 is equal to x n plus h this is for the solution of this initial value problem in the interval a and b drive Euler's method this method is the oldest and simplest but also the method is a single step method and does not require the evaluation of any derivative given dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y comma y of x naught is equal to y naught this is the initial value problem the integral of above is a curve in the xy plane and since a smooth curve practically a straight line for a short distance from any point on it we have the approximate relation it is a solution of the above initial value problem it is a graphical solution place this curve in Cartesian plane there are infinite points lying on this curve we are taking a, a point P having points x naught y naught and taking another point on the curve say Q having points x1 y1 draw the normal from the point P on x axis it is a foot of the normal the distance from uh, origin on this foot of the normal say x naught and this normal height say y naught repeating this process draw a normal from the point Q on x axis the distance from the origin at this the foot of the normal say x1 and the height of this normal say y1 draw another normal from the point p on the opposite side this is the point say a this height is y0 so similarly this height will be y0 this distance is x1 so x1 y0 the corners of the point a angle theta this is the length of delta x or this height say delta y draw a secret line which passes through the point p and q this is a right angle triangle pqa tangent theta is equal to perpendicular upon base perpendicular is delta y and base is delta x so placing the value cross this delta x so we can write delta y is approximately equal to delta x tangent theta because tangent theta is equal to dy by dx at the particular point x is equal to x naught from the calculus substituting this value in place of tangent theta so we can write delta x dy by dx at the particular point x naught y1 is equal to y naught plus delta y this height is y naught parallel to this it means this height is also y naught so y naught plus a delta y this is say y1 so substituting the value delta y delta x over dy by dx at the particular point x naught here 
saying delta x this length say h. So, putting this value here. So, y 1 is equal to y naught plus h times of dy by dx at particular point x naught. So, here we have a height of y 1 in terms of the y naught and derivatives of the function of the curve at the particular point x naught. Having find q x1 y1, we move to the next point r x2 y2 as x3 y3 of this process continue. Repeating this process, q ha having coins x1 y1 and r having coins x2 y2. So, we can write the height of y2 is equal to y1 plus delta y or substituting the value of delta y. So, we have a y 2 is equal to y 1 plus h dy by dx at particular point x 1 semicolon x 2 is equal to x 1 plus h. Repeating this process again between the points r and s on the curve. So, we can calculate the height of y 3 this is equal to y 3 is equal to y 2 plus h dy by dx at particular point x 2 semicolon x 3 is equal to x 2 plus h. Uh, repeating this process between s and t till the values uh, x n minus 1 y n minus 1 or x n y n and calculating the values between two points on the curve x n y n or x n plus 1 or y n plus 1. So, we can write the y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus delta y or substituting the value of delta y. because dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y this is called the first order differential equation. So, placing in place of this dy by dx we can write f of x comma y at the value x n y n so replacing x by x n or y by y n. So, y n plus 1 which is the same this is equal to y n plus h in place of it we are writing f of x comma y at the particular point x n y n or x n plus 1 is equal to x n plus h. This is called the Eilert's method. Question, use Eilert's method to solve t y by dx is equal to x plus y comma y of 0 is equal to 1. This is the initial value problem in the small length of the interval 0 between 0 and 0 0.1. Taking h is equal to 0 0.02. Solution here f of x comma y is equal to x plus y replacing x by x n y by y n. So, we can write the f of x n y n is equal to x n plus y n. Other formula is here y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus h f of x n comma y n semicolon x n plus 1 is equal to x n plus h. And number of pieces or you can say number of iteration we can divide the length 0 to 0 0.1 in in how many pieces when we have a, a small length of the interval is 0 0.02. So, final minus initial 0 0.1 minus 0 divided by h substituting in this value in the formula then we have a 5, 5 iterations yeah 5 pieces we can say 5 pieces or 5 iterations. Let us see here 0 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0 0.08, 0 0.1. First piece, second piece, third piece, fourth or five pieces. Y n plus 1 is equal to Y n plus placing the value of H 0 0.02 F of X n Y n X n plus Y n. X n plus 1 is equal to X n plus H which is the same. Form the table for 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0 to 5 rotations. At the 0 rotation, picking the first values x and value from the initial condition 0 and y and value 1. The first value at the 0 rotation comes from the initial condition. This is called the x naught, or you can say 0 rotation to placing a 0 x naught, placing a 0 y naught. So, this is the x naught, this is called the y naught.
for the first situation placing this value when we are putting the 0 and 1 so we are getting the first value 0 0.02 or 1.02 placing this value here 1.02 in the formula let us see again for the zero situation putting x n is equal to 0 y n is equal to 1 placing here 1 placing here 0 placing here 1 so we can get or placing here 0 or placing here 0 0.02 so we can get the 0 0.02 or we can get the value of 1.02 placing this value in the formula in place of y n putting 1.02 or placing in place of x n 0 0.02 simplify it this is the second iteration placing 0 0.04 in place of x n placing 1.04080 in place of y n then simplify it 0 0.06 placing this value here in place of xn or 1.062416 on yn simplifying it 0 0.0281.084864 1 placing this value here in place of xn in place of yn on the first rotation at the value 0.1 placing this value 0 0.1 here in place of xn 1.108162 in place of this so you can get the more iteration but we want to solve up to 0 to 0 0.1 here is the graph the height 0 at 1 height 0 0.02 is 1.02 at 0 0.04 height is 1.0480 at 0 0.06 height is 1.062416 at 0 0.08 height is 1.08486 at point 0 0.1 height is 1.108162 by Euler's method graph by uh, graph is formed by using the MATLAB. Uh, red line shows the uh, Euler's method technique solution, or uh, blue line sh shows the analytic solution of the problem. So, given problem solution graphically by Euler's method, red line is showing here, or uh, analytically, blue line showing here in the small interval 0 to 0 0.1 but we are taking the length of the interval is large between 0 to 10 so you are watching here that difference in the short length of interval is so small near about the analytical solution but here the gap is large as compared to that when we are increasing the length of the interval then the solution is uh, analytical solution and the uh, Euler's method solution is uh, different here a big gap so this is not a good method for the large interval of uh, for the length of the large interval it is better when we are taking the uh, small length of the interval when we are taking the graph uh, in the large interval 0 to 100 so this gap will be increases and all the lecture